What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. In today's MLB The Show 22 video, I'm going to be going over the best ball player glitch to level up your guy super, super fast. If you enjoy these type of tips, whether it's stubs, XP methods, or ball player glitches, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on. Let's get into the breakdown. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so looking up in the top left corner, you can see me using the same method that I'm about to show you have me up to a 92 overall. All right, so if you didn't watch my picture build go back and check out that video it will also be at the end of this video for you to click for recent videos so you're going to click into road to the show after you set the ball player up that video like i said will be down in the comment section or the end of this video one thing a lot of people don't know is as far as the putouts and all the other stats you do have to make sure that you play the game but to get to the other stats, you can simulate, okay? So if you go into the program, you can see I'm 138 out of the 200, okay? I've been doing this slow because I wanna have all this XP for the next program. So right here, you need nine innings pitch, 16 strikeouts. You need three putouts. Putouts is if they pop the ball up or they hit a grounder to you, you throw them out. You need three assists. Three assists is if they hit it to the first base, you run over and cover the base. That's an assist out. Then you need the five strikeouts, 60 innings pitch total, and 70 strikeouts. Okay, so all of these first ones, you have to make sure that you do play in the game, okay? And they don't overlap. So if you have seven out of nine innings pitched with some strikeouts left, you can go ahead and play the full game until you get these completed because these at the bottom are not repeatable. But once you get these completed, this, 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 and this is repeatable. So if you have seven out of innings left, just play the two innings left and then you can simulate. Now, I'm gonna get into a game. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you these two stats right here and then I'm gonna simulate the rest of the game, okay? And all the other stats that don't include hits per nine, walks per nine, will all still get a boost. So if you don't wanna play every single game, you can simulate and it will still track and it will help your guy overall upgrade a lot. So we're gonna come right here and we're gonna try to get an easy strikeout. He's battling right now. We're gonna throw a low off speed. That's a strikeout. Challenge completed, okay? So we the end of that inning. I got one strikeout. So now I'm gonna go to simulate exit. Then I'm gonna push the skip and I'm gonna speed it up, okay? And I have a roster where my team is gonna win 95% of the time. Sometimes they score 10, 14, 15 runs. So. You're gonna look at my stats, I get little XP. The more innings that you complete playing the game, the more XP and stubs you will accumulate. But if you come right here and you look at my guy overall, by simulating, I got one strikeout. But all total, I ended up with five strikeouts total. But I'm gonna get my XP. You have to play at least one inning for your progress to track. So we're gonna come right here and you can see, I got progress. If you come back to the breakdown, Right here, you can see the green lines, okay? So if I push R1 or RB, go over, and then I can see my progress. So everything is still building up. My clutch, my stamina, all the extra stats outside of the user input is still upgrading. So that's gonna help your guy get upgraded super fast. It's okay to simulate, okay? So you play one or two innings or finish the user input stats that you need, the strikeouts, the innings pitch, the total strikeouts, the total innings pitch. Then you go and you make sure that you check every three to four games if you don't wanna keep track of what you have. And then it's easy. You can simulate and you can see my clutch, my hits per nine, my home runs per nine, only with that one strikeout in that one inning play all got 
boosted super glitchy that's the fastest way to build your guy up i was doing this last night for about an hour and a half i would do one inning probably strike out two or three batters then simulate and then my four seam control my uh hits per nine everything else got boosted up to the 40s the only thing i have left is stamina and clutch i can simulate probably four to five more games and both of them would be around 40 also okay so the most that you can go is 50 that mean that your guy is totally maxed out if this helped you make sure that you take advantage of it and get a beast i got a 92 overall pitcher i don't need another pitcher for a long long time no money spent all diamond squad let's go if you're looking for a super super fun and easy way to earn extra money follow me on underdog fantasy and use code fat dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks all you got to do is come in here make one dollar bets two dollar bets three dollar bets it don't matter choose your players come over to the right put the amount in one dollar bet you have a chance to win three dollars back i will be giving you guys free picks follow me on my twitter and i will give you a discord link and let's have some fun